Do you ever feel like you're invisible or overlooked in meetings? Well, today I'm gonna to give you seven ways that you can get more visibility and get noticed in meetings. Now, the reason why this is important is because meetings are a great way to give you exposure to other leaders in your organization and to people that you work with outside of day to day. Number one, show up early and with presence, ready to engage with other people. So many people will slide into a meeting just as it's getting ready to start, or maybe they do get there a little bit early, but they're just working on their laptop or they're staring at their phone and they're not engaging with other people. Even if you're introverted and your tendency is to not really interact with other people, Look at this time before the meeting as just a short time to really establish your presence. Take advantage of getting there early and come prepared with some kind of small talk questions or conversation. Maybe it's just small talk about the weekend or engaging somebody with a question or in conversation. What this does is it kind of warms you up in establishing yourself as a vocal presence even before the meeting starts. Number two, sit strategically. And by that, I mean if it's a big meeting and you normally sit in the back, change it up and sit closer to the front so you will be more visible. If it's a smaller meeting, like a conference room, you want to sit strategically if possible. And what you want to do is sit either next to or across from the person that you most want to notice you. So for instance, if you want to have more visibility with your leader or maybe with the department head, now if it's a larger meeting and you're not sure if another leader is going to want that seat next to the person that's leading the meeting, then probably in that situation, you want to sit across from the person that's leading the meeting or whoever it is that you want to get more visibility with. The third way that you can get more visibility is just through your body language, so without saying a word. Have you ever noticed that people who are more confident are more open with their bodies? They make bigger gestures, they have their hands away from this, themselves, they even have the things on their table a little bit further out versus the people who keep everything close to them. They keep their hands close to them. They keep everything on the table very close to them in a very small space. So this doesn't mean encroach on everybody else's space and you're not giving the people next to you room to put their stuff down, but just try this. Next time you're in a meeting, for instance, you got a bottle of water, just kind of slide that further out from the table from where you normally have it so that you are taking up more space. The fourth way to gain more visibility is by speaking up first or at least be one of the first to speak up in a meeting. If you are normally somebody who doesn't speak up in a meeting or maybe you wait until somebody calls on you, quit being that person. Start speaking up sooner. Even if it's asking a question, anything to speak up to ask for clarification, which I'm gonna talk about in just a minute, or ask a question or make a point. When you're one of the first to speak up, it actually breaks the ice, not only for everybody else, but it breaks the ice for yourself. Because sometimes when you want to be more visible in a meeting, but you're not speaking up first, then you start thinking about, well, when's the right time for me to interject something or ask a question? And then sometimes you can start overthinking it. So just break the ice and be one of the first to speak. Now, before I get to number five, if you like this video, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel for more videos on confidence, communication, and leadership from an introvert's perspective. Number five is something that you're probably gonna have the opportunity to do because so often meetings are guilty of this. And that is there's really no clarification on details. Have you ever walked out of a meeting and you wonder, did we really decide that we were gonna do this? Somebody brought up this great idea and other people said, oh yeah, we need to do that. But was there ever really any decision around it? And if so, who owns it and what's the first step? 
So for you to be the one before the subject changes to something else or even when it's about to, to say, I want to get clarification on this. Did we decide that we were going to do this? Or I know we decided on this. However, when do you want this completed by? Anything about clarity. That's going to get you more visibility and it will show that you really care about the ideas and the decisions that are made in the meeting. Number six, and hear me out on this one because you may be thinking, I don't want to do that. And that is even in an in-person meeting, virtual meetings too, but even in an in-person meeting, sometimes you actually need to lift your hand. Have you ever been in a situation where you wanted to make a comment or ask a question but you couldn't find the right time. And then the next thing you know, the subject is on to something else and you missed your window. So therefore you're not speaking at all because it seems like it's out of place. So whenever you raise your hand, even if it's in an in-person meeting, what happens is the person who's leading the meeting is gonna notice you, they're gonna call on you, you're not gonna have to worry about interrupting someone else and nobody's gonna interrupt you because you raised your hand. Now here's some advice around this. You want to raise your hand confidently. So instead of something like this, just look confident and raise your hand like this. Number seven, just as I recommended getting to a meeting early, be sure and don't rush out whenever it's over. Be sure and just kind of take your time even before you stand up because you never know. Sometimes there's more conversation that's gonna take place that you wanna be there for after the meeting is over. And it's a lot easier to do that if you are not one of the first ones to stand up when the meeting is over. So be slow to stand up, be slow to gather all your stuff that you brought with you and make the most of this time to be visible. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.